On Sunday night, Colby Tatusis was returning a trailer he'd borrowed from friends when three men approached, demanding items from him. Colby's brother, Mylan Tatusis, describes what happened next. It didn't take long, and three individuals entered the yard, um, asked for where their stuff was. Colby was trying to figure out how he could communicate with them, maybe even help them look for what they were looking for because he does know the people who live there. Um, one of the men proceeded to climb over the trailer, between the trailer and the truck, and, and sucker punched him, punched him in the face, and then proceeded to grab him by the hair and assault his face further. The yard where the assault happened belongs to Eleanor Sunchild, the lawyer who supported the Bushi and Tatusas families during the Gerald Stanley trial. Tatusas says Sunchild told him she has given the security footage to the RCMP. It's not hard to find racism here. Um, and ultimately, because of that, it's not hard to find racists. And one of the amazing things with this incident is that I expected to wake up the next day and have hate mail, similar to you know what was going on during the Gerald Stanley trial. That wasn't the case. We actually had you know extended friends and family in the Battleford community exposing these three individuals very rapidly um, and, and, you know, saying who they were. Tatusa says issues of trespassing remain a huge issue in Saskatchewan. And yet these men entered a private yard and have not yet been charged. RCMP have issued a statement, which reads in part, North Battleford RCMP were dispatched to the scene at 6.50 p.m. and arrived shortly after, and the suspects had already left the area. Investigations take time to complete. Charges have not been laid at this time, and North Battleford RCMP are continuing their investigation into this incident, including working to identify and locate the suspects involved. Tutusa says the family is supporting his brother, who is recovering, and his young niece, who was inside the truck at the time of the assault. It was a violent act, and unfortunately, you know, um, I'm hearing people on Facebook and seeing comments about how one of the attackers, uh, people there have their whole life ahead of them. And, and that's really unfair because, you know, my, my daughter's six years old and uh, she's already experienced this trauma. And how many of our people experience trauma similar to this in terms of colonial violence and oppression? So, you know, one settler kid going through this, I mean, I hope we really get to throw the book at them. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Battleford.